A love triangle that has gone wrong on every level has taken many turns since the incident. A man who is a JPS worker came home early unexpectedly by his common law wife. She was in bed with her lover who is also the father of her child. On hearing the grill to the house being open, it alerted the couple inside who is not expecting her common law husband home at that time. And being a businessman as well, he drew for his firearm. Then realizing the intruder was coming into the house, they fired allegedly 10 shots into him, only to find out it was not an intruder, it was a woman he in bed with common law husband coming home. A bit earlier than usual, but it was 2.15 a.m. in the morning, and those work had kind of come off like 6 a.m., so I guess he was definitely not expected. Realizing this, the lovers rushed with him to the hospital where he was pronounced. To make matters worse, Joe Grant is a married man and he's married to a police inspector. And it's understood he would have gone to visit his child because it's his child's birthday, but ended up in bed with the mother of his child. Police has taken his gun and had him in for questioning. No people and family members are outraged. And a Honda Fit motor car was torched and part of the house that they both had lived in, the lady and the passing um, common law husband, house was burnt. The vehicle was burnt and part of the house, the garage sec section was set ablaze. However, the Jamaica Fire Brigade was alerted and the blaze was extinguished before it was spread to the rest of the house. All this happened the very next day to show you how the people in Fagan Town, burnt ground St. Elizabeth, are upset, mad and angry about the way Mr. Blake lost his life. And of course, they are blaming the woman as they believe it's a love triangle, as the underfit is said to belong to Arlanda Blake, the deceased man's girlfriend. Even the wrecker that went for the burnt vehicle had to be escorted by police from the scene, as the community was out in their numbers angry at Blake's death. However, further information based on um, their investigation and of course talking to the couple is revealed that the two lovers were asleep in the house when they're going to say asleep. You know, we know what they were doing. And they are, were awakened by the sounds. The man allegedly got up and saw Blake standing in the doorway with an object in his hand. He then made and advanced towards his common law wife. Of course, the man was angry. The man come home from work early and see him woman laps down in bed with another man. So, of course, he launched towards his wife, his common law wife, with an object in his hand, which led to the lice of firearm holder, who is the man in the bed beside her, reaching for his gun, then firing at Blake. They both then rushed Blake to the hospital where he died while being treated. Now, I know it in the, everything was crazy and frightening and shocking for everybody in the spur of the moment. But the amount of shots that is alleged that Blake got, was that really necessary? Couldn't he fire the shot in a hand or in foot and so on? All of them... The motor shots he get was definitely to take him out. And that is something that I think the authorities will look at. My gosh, imagine. You just feel like you just want to come home early. One day from work. And enter your house. Your one yard, you know. You enter into. And your life taken is not by a criminal. And not by a gunman. 
and not by robbers but by somebody who not supposed to be in your house who not supposed to be in there sleeping with your woman but was there this is a hard one and so on what I wonder though what the policeman going to tell his wife or since it has passed what can he even tell her you know and can that woman ever go live back in that community I think based on what's going on in Jamaica that is a dangerous move to try and go live back in that area you understand so you know she's going to go there and go move anything she have to get police escort because the if the community worse if the community used to him and she at JPS the man work you know whenever a man work at JPS living in one community especially rural you know you see any little thing in you know, the neighbors them house pretending to light electricity wire for go up or anything and then man they get called you know so the man they loved you know you understand them coming like the community in jail if you know what I mean and if you realize that uh, him life was taken like that they're not going to have that even the children on both sides because the shooter have a child with this woman and the same shooter have um children with his police wife so on both sides how the children are going to deal going to manage how they're going to deal with this a big shame this you know is a big shame this to live with you see oh when you first learn to deceive how tragic it can all end at the end of the day all this was never worth it